they set your alarm clock and get out of bed when it goes off. Yeah. That's what you do. Right. Do you on the mornings when you get up and you have that do you have that moment in your head where you don't feel like it anymore? I know that some of that goes away when you repeatedly drive through that moment. Do you still have that sometimes? I got up early this morning, too. Do you ever, uh, or are there days or moments or special times when you let yourself, um, you know, that the, tomorrow's a day for luxury, tomorrow's a day to relax? No. Not relax. Not really. Mm-hmm. They, that kind of takes the top spot as, as just horrible situations. A luxury day. Did you just call it a luxury day? Is that what you said? I'll say that. Okay. Yeah. So if, let's say you take a luxury day. Okay. Right? Theo takes a luxury day. Okay. The big difference is some, someone's going to try and kill you and, and you could die. And so some people have a real hard time with that. And so occasionally you'll see a guy that doesn't want to be in that situation where they can get killed. And, you know, so there's no, no luxury days happen over here on my side. Okay. As guys put themselves and their lives at risk over and over and over again, eventually they can get, they can get worn down, you know, combat fatigue. And you go back to the rear, you pick up whatever you need to pick up. Maybe you catch a movie. Maybe you have a little Theo luxury day back there in the rear and you get, you know, you get your, you get your mindset right again. Cause guys do break and it's, it's the responsibility of the leader to try and prevent that. Okay, right on, right on. We're going to keep it real over here. Okay. This will be... I'll let you handle the luxury scenarios. In World War One, guys are in trenches, and you're going to charge another trench against machine guns, and they're getting mowed down. You see, it's one of the saddest things that, I, that I've seen in my life is these guys are so... Because they're, they're getting bombarded for months and months and months and months on end, and eventually their mind just couldn't take it, and different people have different levels of what they can take. And this doesn't mean they're a bad person. doesn't mean they're a coward. It means that they, you get them off the front line, you get them some rest and relaxation and some luxury, Theo style. Guys can push themselves so hard that eventually they, they need a they need a break, you know. And there's a lot of tough men that you work yeah, with. Just, <laughs> yeah. You know, I've been surrounded by heroes and, and guys that have sacrificed and done so much that for me to be doing what I'm doing is just I'm just sitting over here trying to get by. Um and if I get to a point where my mind is overwhelmed and I need to take a, a luxury day mm-hmm. with Theo Vaughn, yeah. then then that's what it is. Like I start to worry about my own ego. Hey, it's just me sitting in a room. Like even what you have here, this setup is mm-hmm. is pretty extravagant compared to me. I have me and my the guy that does a podcast with me, Echo, and it's two microphones and we're in a little room, a black room. That's yeah. it. And yeah, it's it it's really easy to stay humble when you see what mm. other people are doing and, and have done. It's another level. It's another level. You know, when people talk about sacrifice, even, you know, you kind of hear people talking about you got to make sacrifice to get to get ahead or you got to make sacrifice to get where you want to be. This is just another level. of, And, you know, it's it's a really horrible thing. Um, I just feel like I just wasted a day of my life. Right. That's what I feel like.